Tonight, the family of a man killed by Memphis police after a traffic stop last December say police are not telling the whole story despite recently released body cam video. Jayla McKenzie's mother says she was blindsided by release of the video showing the traffic stop that killed the 20 year old. Ashley McKenzie Smith says the video released to the public last Tuesday was a different version than what she saw last week. Tonight, she sat down with our Stephen Pimpo and Stephen, I understand she has more questions after seeing the video. Richard, that's correct. Jalen McKenzie's mother, Ashley, says the video she saw was maybe 30 to 40 percent of the footage released to the public. She says she is still in the dark and hasn't heard anything from officials as she's still asking why her son had to die that night. I saw him laying on the ground. His hands were up and then you would see them drop. You see his hands drop like he was taking his last breaths. Violated and disturbed. That's how Ashley McKenzie Smith is left feeling after seeing body camera footage of the night a Memphis police officer shot and killed her son, Jalen. The Shelby County District Attorney's Office released redacted footage from the deadly traffic stop to the public this week. But Ashley says there are key details that are missing. First, at no point in the video do we see the moment Jalen shoots at the MPD officers. You hear those gunshots. You, they're from one gun. You can hear that they all are in sequence. Um, if Jalen had shot, there should have been two sets of shots and they would have sound differently. According to the medical examiner's report Ashley gave me, Jalen was shot five times, including one that hit near the back of his knee. That will be inconclusive with him running. You shooting at him while he's running away from you. Because the footage is heavily edited, Ashley also has doubts about the gun that police are shown pulling out from under Jalen. To me, from what the video footage is looking like, it's looking like the gun was placed there. Ashley also showed us MPD internal affairs documents stating that Officer Dorm shot at Jalen in self-defense and forgot to turn his body camera on. Him not having on his body footage is very disturbing. With so many missing pieces, Ashley can't understand why she continues to get zero answers from MPD or the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. We know nothing. We're not being told anything. We've reached out to the Shelby County District Attorney's Office for comments on Ashley's accusations, but have not received a response at this time. She and others are holding a rally Saturday in Jalen's honor, beginning at 2 p.m., which ends at the Memphis Police Station downtown. Richard.